Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the final path on 8.1.4 Paths for Exploration. This is going to be Combat Deja Vu Prowess, Weapon Red Wing, dr Red Wing Drone and Disarm Stun and Unarmed Damage Over Time. So easily put, you need champions that have damage over time, they will do great here. And also, if you want to be a bit more safe, you can bring champions with Ability Accuracy Immunity. So your Ultrons, your Archangel, your Longshot, all of those champions work. But there's a very simple play around with it, I will explain you more in the video. There is going to be a very nasty Sauron, so make sure you bring in a Bleed Immune Champion to avoid the passive bleeds as well. And there's also a Bishop, so bring a counter for that as well. So having said that guys, let's jump into the path and let's see the video. The boss is going to be a cover slave, more on him later in the video. And make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and let's jump into the path. So the first fight is going to be against the beast. Now you have to alternate your basic attacks. So base, so if you use a medium light medium, use a heavy on the next one or use parry medium light. So you don't repeat the same basic attack because if you do, the defender will get a prowess that is a buff. And because of that, red wing drone will come into play and your ability accuracy will be reduced and you won't be able to do parries and a lot of other stuff. So to avoid all of that, just, just use either parry medium light or use parry heavy or parry medium light medium and then parry heavy so these are the best combos that i use you will notice i am using this one medium light medium and then the next one is heavy and as soon as i get specials i can throw that and i can get through this fight easily and get four charges for apocalypse to make archangel horseman later Next fight is going to be against a Mr. Fantastic. Now I am using my rank for Nick Fury. Any other rank will work as well. Bring any champion with damage over time and you should be doing good. So you will notice I'm just using medium into heavy and stacking up those internal bleeds so I can do more damage. And the weapon is disarmed as soon as I parry. So right there the weapon is active again but for 10 seconds i cannot disarm it so i will still just do parry medium and light and wait for the cooldown to go away and then as soon as the weapon will be removed you will notice the extra damage from the bleeds so any damage over time champions work parry will remove uh, will disarm the weapon and damage over time will do extra damage when they are unarmed so again the only thing alternate your basic attacks that will keep the prowess away and not apply any kind of concussion or ability accuracy on you so parry into heavy is a good way to go The next defender is going to be a Sauron. Now he is a very annoying defender to deal with. I have brought in a Warlock and all I'm going to do is to parry medium into heavy. Parry medium into heavy. So in that way I do not repeat my combo and that does not give Sauron a passive prowess and uh, i don't get my ability accuracy reduced so parry medium heavy and because of those uh, of because of the weapon node i can do extra damage another thing you need to be taking care about is the unblockable and the special unblockable when that buff is paused so just be careful about that i would suggest you to bring in champions that are immune to bleeds so even if you parry him he does not put passive bleeds on you so just be wary about that and you should be able to do this fight uh, if, it is one of the difficult ones but if you bring in the route counter and you play around with the unblockable you should be able to get it again remember just use parry 
medium into heavy or petty medium into light whichever is the right one so you can get through this fight without taking any damage and any kind of uh, ability accuracy reduction Now next defender is going to be a Mr. Negative, again I'm going to use Nick Fury. Now the good part about Nick Fury is whenever he will knock down the opponent, he will remove any non-damaging debuffs. So I don't have to worry about the delirious and reverse controls. All I'm doing is using parry medium into heavy, so that also helps me avoid the combat deja vu prowess. So what that does, if you use the same basic attack twice in a row, it will give a buff to Mr. Negative that is going to be a prowess and because of that, the weapon node red wing drone will come into play and reduce your ability accuracy so to avoid all of that simple way is to use parry medium into heavy and those internal bleeds will do the rest and the bleeds will do more damage to mr negative and when the weapon is down there will be extra damage as well so you should be able to take him down quite easily And the next defender is going to be another annoying one. Make sure you bring in a counter as mentioned in the beginning of the video. It's going to be a bishop and I'm going to use an archangel with horseman ability. Now other counters here can be your apocalypse, can also be your ultron is a really good one. You can also use guillotine 2099 if you are the lucky ones who are able to pull in famous iron man. They are good as well. Try not to let him throw an sp1. You can block and wait for the repair -y and then go back in it again. This sp2 is much more easy. Uh, more easily uh, dealable because on his sp1 he will apply those energy damage with incinerate and that can do a lot of damage unless you want to dance around and not get cornered i would suggest keep pushing him to an sp2 and with using tech champions you won't gain any prowess as well So the last defender is going to be a Jabari Panther. Now a couple of things you need to take care about. One is going to be her cleanse mechanism, which she will cleanse the first debuff you apply and that's mostly is going to be a parry. So just be wary about that. And secondly, when she goes on the hunt, you won't be able to parry her. She becomes stun immune. So plenty of different options that are there. I am going to use an Archangel with Horseman ability. He works really well here. Uh, just keeping an eye on the cleanse just like there. You can use other champions, for example, Ultron. You can use uh, also Cable with Apocalypse Energy for the whole path. But the only thing you need to take care about is going to be her cleanse. And once you have that down, this shouldn't be a really difficult fight. And the boss is going to be a Corvus Glaive with Rust and Ruin, Steady Build Up, Feats of Energy, Foot Loose and Wax On and Wax Off. So it encourages you to bring in your Mystic Champions and also if somebody is Armor Break Immune, so somebody like Doctor Doom, Mangog, you can also bring in Man Thing. They can be really good because they're Armor Break Immune, you don't have to worry about Rust and Ruin and Corvus Glaive going unblockable. With steady build up as well, the same thing. If the armor break is on you, then he will start getting furies. But if there's no armor break, you don't have to worry about those. I am going to use a Doctor Doom here. So I'm going to slowly build up to an SP3 while he has two bars of power. And then I'm going to go into Doom Cycling. Now because you, you throw a SP1 at the end of Doom Cycle and the opponent will get a power gain with feats of energy whenever there are two bars of power you can steal that for yourself and you can easily get to another sp3 so right there sp1 power steal on me and even if i don't go and attack i will get another sp3 so i can easily just doom cycle this fight and finish it off uh, quite uh, quickly 
but again i would suggest you you can also do an sp2 cycling here once you have two of those furies you can use your sp1 get that again and then keep throwing your sp2s because of the power gain you will get two back-to-back -back sp2s and you should be able to do quite a lot of damage so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did and it helped you out make sure to like the video comment on this uh, comment down below and also subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos check on the top right of the screen there's 8.1 playlist and also the, my roast, most recent upload is also on the channel we are up to 8.14 all exploration is done now i'm gonna work on the infographic and then we'll go back to 8.1.3 2 and 1 so apart from that guys i hope you all have an amazing day and i'll see you next time bye